Today we're going to extend our study of Newton's first law, the law of inertia, by looking at translational equilibrium. Translational equilibrium sounds kind of complicated, but the equilibrium part simply means balanced forces, as in Newton's first law, where we have balanced forces. If we have, have to be different from one another to make up for the difference in weight. And so the correct answer is C. The most common type of equilibrium question is like the one below. In this case, we've got an object in translational equilibrium because the wind is holding it up. Now, when I say it's the most common type of question, I don't mean... Let's summarize the main ideas from the video. The first idea coming from Newton's first law was that if you've got any object moving at constant velocity, including zero velocity, then it's got to be the case that the sum of all the forces, the vector sum of all the forces acting on the object must be zero. In other words, the net force or resultant force must be zero. Idea number two was that if you had three forces acting on an object in equilibrium, and two of those forces are perpendicular, then you're going to get a right angle triangle and you'll be able to solve and you'll be able to solve problems using right angle triangle trigonometry. And thirdly, we had the more general idea that vertical is independent of horizontal. So if I break up all my forces into vertical and horizontal components, then when I look at all the vertical components, all the up forces must add up to be the same size as all the down forces. And similarly, when we look horizontally, left and right, all the forces to the left must come out to be the same as all the forces to the right. And we can use that as a way to solve all kinds of problems. So please take the time to like videos, to make comments, to ask questions, become a subscriber, sign up for notifications, become a member or a Patreon. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.